Kafo medalists. Congratulations. Here we go, starting at 184, we got Gabe, Dean, Ed, Ruth, Dean, Dean's in on a single leg. I tell you what, Dean's impressed me this tournament, man, becoming one of my favorites to watch. Pace unbelievably high, great ham fighter. You're gonna see him pull on the head a lot, get to an underhook. And look at this, chasing him down, he's gonna. That was close to I being two. I thought it two. was a takedown, he's looking to score. Ruth's gonna run out of bounds. Run straight out of bounds. Wow, no stall call, no flea. I don't know if it's a flea yet, but I, I think it, it warrants a stall call. You're definitely avoiding wrestling, and I'm pretty sure that's the definition of stalling. Back to what Dean likes to get to. He likes underhooks, especially left side. He'll get a high crotch and a double rolling off of it. Very good oh, short offense, Dean. as you see. Back in on the leg. Dean's going to score. Oh, goodness. Gabe Dean set the tone here early. So this guy's fun to watch, man. Wow. He almost had a takedown, and then he did get a takedown. Twice in a row. He set the tone in this match, came out early, and got a takedown. I've never noticed how big Gabe Dean is till he was next to Ruth. He's gigantic, he 84 is gigantic. Pounder. His arms, pythons. And, you know, the, when you see him stand up, not when they're locked up like this. Gabe Dean has short arms. Ed Ruth's yeah. got some long arms. We talked about Taylor and John Morrison. Gabe Dean has, like, short, stocky, stumpy arms. And they are freaking bulky. And Dean's not joking around here. He's up early. He just got schooled up on a roll. He said the flea's gone in college. Really? Yeah, just high school. I guess they're supposed to call stalling more when they go out of bounds. Yeah, but they're not. No. They're not. And Ruth, you know, he, he just stands there and he just pretty much just stands there when he decides to go. It's usually lightning fast and he blows right through people, but he's having a tough time getting to Gabe Dean's legs. He's keeping great position. And every time Ruth comes forward, the attack is not there or the scoring opportunity is not there. But has Ruth hit high gear yet? Time will tell. Probably not. Sometimes he just cruises around in third gear and then all of a sudden, bang, fifth gear happens and the match Puts is over. Puts four points on the yeah. board. But that's a third or fourth attempt and he's not even getting close to Gabe Dean's legs yet. Dean's doing a great job with his down blocks and head position. Gabe Dean, <laughs> one minute to go. And this time, Ruth finally does get to the leg. Dean, Wizards, This is where Ruth's so down. tough with his far reach. You just can't get away oh. from him. Dean trying to face him, get heavy with his hips. Ruth got a reverse lock on the leg. Dean trying to circle around and score. And wow, impressive there. How he's holding on to that leg. One arm on the leg. Dean close to a reversal. Gabe Dean's going to circle around. He's going to get at least one. And he gets it one point. He's going to lead. Nope, check that. We are tied 3-3. Three, three. Each guy a takedown. Each guy an escape. Riding time one second in favor of Ed, the truth, Ruth. And he attacks again on the edge. Again, he's on that same shot, looking to limp, limp arm. And he's looking for that, like you said, reach. Far reach, far man, reach. so Thank hard you. to stop. I tell you, Ed always gets complimented for his top work and his athletic ability. Something that he's underrated about is his gas tank. He can pick it up and wrestle with the best of them, rarely gets tired. I remember his match with Heinrich in the semifinals of Vegas. No, it was a finals of Scuffle. They got in an unbelievable, crazy scramble in the third period. There was injury time or blood time. He came back to the corner with Kale, and he was breathing through his nose. Super impressed with it. Guy's got a big gas tank on him. That was back when he was at 74, too. So yeah, he's cutting a little he's bit cutting, of weight. No, nah, not cutting as much weight. Eating a little bit more. Dean's up to his feet. This now that should be mind. a stall call. Thank you. 
And they're gonna go out of bounds. 137 to go here in the period. That's one thing I don't think people harp on enough. They always talk about wrestlers creating more action and need to make it exciting. It's the official's responsibility to make these guys wrestle. They are the one that have the power and the control to do it. They gotta make it happen. Gabe Dean back to his feet, gets returned by Ruth. He's your seventh ranked wrestler in the country. Ed Ruth been pretty dominant thus far. He went fall, 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 tech fall. Pretty dang good. Gabe Dean, your number three seed coming to this tournament. Tech fall, fall, eight, three, six, one, three, two in the semifinals over Kevin Steinhaus, two time All American from Minnesota. Hey, Dean's been doing a great job getting up to his feet here, making Ruth return him, spend a lot of energy. Ruth may have slightly jumped the gun there, maybe not. He's back up to his feet again. Ruth traps that ankle, sags him to the mat. Now, there should be another stalling, and they're gonna hit another one. They're gonna go to one point. Gabe Dean, he's gonna take the lead, 4-3 now. Riding time is up over a minute for Ruth, but we have ourselves a match. We this do. was no fluke in the first period. Not at all. I told you Dean's a gamer, man. I've been impressed with him. Okay. Dean back up to his feet, ham fighting. Ruth trying to do that roll through tilt from his feet. They go out of bounds again. 33 seconds to go in the period. A minute and a half riding time favor of Ed Ruth who trails by one. Uh -oh. oh, cradle time. Uh oh. And that's what, oh look at that. And now the escape, it's a two point lead for Gabe Dean. Woo! Holy goodness. Wonder if Dean comes out and attack here. Trying to see if he can catch Ruth cruising. Ruth's oh. in on the attack, almost pancakes him over. Thinks about it, gets to the position. Shot from the outside, Ruth gets to the leg. Four seconds to go. Huge if he can get a takedown here. No, no, no takedown. So Saved close. by the whistle. I mean, half a second. The last second was falling off the clock as Gabe Dean was falling towards the mat and his hand hits right after the one second goes to zero. That was like wrestling poetry, Bader. Thank you. I try. I practiced that one. You were the Walt Whitman of wrestling. Walt Whitman? Do you like that alliteration I threw in there? That's can't scramble on bottom. Got to be careful. Almost gave up back points. Could he get a cradle from there? Looks like Dean's just trying to ride a little bit. Not real interested in working for well, a turn. Well, he's got 15 seconds before all that riding time's gone. And Ruth, a little bit lackluster there on the edge. Was out. He might lose his riding time now. And seven seconds from it, and I thought he was going to get out. I almost thought Dean was going to let him go for a second. That was kind of a weird. They both almost seemed to lollygag, relax. I don't know what the word is. Lollygag, yeah, I like it. Tries a switch, Dean drops down. Dean's got a hold of that leg and riding time at one minute and now it's down underneath a minute. Game Dean That's huge on the verge of strategy. a humongous, humongous upset. What was the last time we saw an upset this big? Man, I'd have to really rack my brain to think about it. Everybody just assumes Ruth's been untouchable. Dean re-drops again, lifts those legs, tables him. He's driving forward, taking his time, building up. Now he's up above the waist. Switch to a half ride. Drops back to the ankle. Takes him out of bounds. And Kale now wants a stall call against Dean for taking him out of bounds, but we saw the same thing in the first period. No, second. No, no, the first. After, after no, no, Ruth got the take the second. You're messing with me now. No, no, the, the first, second. the first. Shut your face. Earlier in the bout. 38 seconds, excuse me, one minute to go. Ruth just tries to turn up and face him. Dean goes body lock. Now they're gonna go stalling on Gabe Dean. 
I don't agree with that one there. Maybe earlier when he was down on the ankle. He, maybe he heard Kale barking in his ear a little bit and got little, to him. A little makeup call. Look at his face. It's turning red. You know it. He knew he blew that one. Just under a minute to go now. Ruth away. Gets the escape. He trails by a point. 52 seconds to go. A stalling on each guy now. Shot Ruth from the outside. Shot. He's oh, behind. goodness. That's, That's a, a takedown. Take Gabe, Gabe Dean. Dean puts it ahead. Goes up by three with 40 seconds to go, and I think he's going to do this. Oh, my gosh. Seemed to took the wind out of Ruth. Ruth's got his head on the mat. Not, no sense of urgency. He stares up at the clock. Almost like he's in a little bit dazed, kind of out of it. And we're going to go back to the center. Gabe 24 Dean. seconds to go. Trying to do what nobody in the building thought was going to be possible all year. Nobody's been able to do it for this is the third year straight. Wow. That's all right, Gabe. Caution on Gabe, his first one. Drives him flat, and Gabe Dean wrestling out of his mind here. Great forward pressure. Goes to chop. He gets Ed Ruth on his head. Down to 15 seconds to go, and I, this is going to happen. Ed Ruth's going to drop a match to Gabe Dean. Actually, I'm not going to say that. Gabe Dean's going to beat Ed Ruth. That's exactly what Outworked happened. Outworked him the whole match, hustled through all the position. And Gabe it Dean. just happened. Gabe Dean, the fans are coming to their feet. They understand what just happened. The first loss since his freshman season, two-time NCAA champ.